The pandemic has led to pioneering vaccines that only some can make. There is not a country in the world today, other than those who had that capacity before the pandemic began, that has an end-to-end -end manufacturing capability for mRNA vaccines. Not one. Now the federal government wants Australia to have that capacity within three years. There's no facility in Australia right now that can handle that kind of capacity. The Commonwealth is considering a dozen proposals, including from CSL, Luena Bio, IDT and Biocena. But getting manufacturing underway soon hinges on the two biggest vaccines. We all know of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. They're superly effective. They're fantastic. Um, but whether they are willing to do a regional deal is the question. mRNA vaccines instruct our cells to make a spike protein to fight COVID-19. Australia's already getting 40 million doses of Pfizer and BioNTech's messenger RNA vaccine, plus 85 million booster shots. It uses material from 86 suppliers in 19 different countries. Crucially, Pfizer controls its supply chain and owns the rights to make its jab. The vaccines are manufactured in Europe and America, and Pfizer is ruling out manufacturing its vaccine here, either directly or through partnerships. They've been putting hundreds of millions of dollars um, into the know-how and their capability to deliver these as products. And they're going to want to protect that from a commercial point of view. Australia is also buying Moderna's vaccine, which isn't approved here yet. The company relies on third-party manufacturers and the American conglomerate recently registered an entity here, Moderna Australia. The discussions with Moderna, which have been ongoing now for some time, for some considerable time. Moderna wouldn't comment on its plans for Australian manufacturing. The only short-term solution is probably Moderna making their vaccine under licence. That could be done by a few companies. It could certainly be done by CSL. I'm confident it can be done by IDT as well. But even that won't happen anytime soon. In that case, the time frame would be potentially 12 to 18 months. But uh, I think there's others in my team that would say two to three years. CSL is the only Australian company that's currently making a COVID jab here. It's making 50 million doses of the viral vector vaccine AstraZeneca under a tech transfer agreement. CSL wouldn't say what vaccine their latest mRNA proposal involves. Luena Bio and Biocena have both told the business that they're not partnering with Pfizer or Moderna. Both have undisclosed partners, which are still in trial phase. We expect to be able to go from the start of the project to having registered vaccine approved by the TGA out the door within two years. Colin Putin also has a vaccine that's about to go into clinical trials and is tied to IDT's proposal. It's probably going to be particularly useful for booster vaccines against variants of concern. The Victorian government is also injecting $50 million into producing mRNA vaccines here. Experts say that booster shots and long-term supply is where the opportunity lies, but they urge us not to get too focused on one sort of vaccine. For all the hype around mRNA, there is other types like AstraZeneca and Novavax, which our government has ordered pending approval. Absolutely critical to have a whole range of vaccine solutions um, and potential solutions for COVID-19. A sentiment that we now only know too well.